Hey everybody, Tracy Brown here. I hope you're having a great day. I know it's a little bit later than usual, but I appreciate all everyone who wants to watch and follow along with these and of course, um, pass them along to their friends. It's, I really appreciate it. So I know I haven't been live this week because I had some of my favorite little, little people in town with their mom, my sister, and we had a super fun but action packed <laughs> week. Like literally, um, I don't think I slept all that much this week in a, in a good way. Uh, we had a lot of fun, but um, shout out to all y'all moms or parents who um, have more than one kid. I just have one and having two that are really close in age or the same exact age is, is a lot. So um, yeah, <laughs> I salute you. Um, so, and add three at the mix. You all really love each other, but don't see each other often. And you've got like nonstop action and giggling and then fighting and crying and then giggling and playing again. So that's what I've been doing, which made me think about having to come back into my life, my day to day with you all. And I remember how hard it was to transition from like, let's say vacation or um, either going to vacation, eating on vacation, coming back from vacation, um, changing jobs, different seasons, different semesters, and how important it is to recognize, unless we have a plan, um, or even if you're just changing your shift, like I say at work, or, um, it's going from, let's say, even if it's not you that's changing too much, but it's your kid that's going from like school to summer and their schedule's different. So that means your schedule's different, whatever your situation is, or you get promoted or whatever's going on is that there will be a change. And even small changes that are positive can be something that's enough to get people's old diet stuff kind of revved up thinking our systems start to think that a change might not be safe or it might be threatening and it gets that old eating stuff kind of revved up sometimes so it's something to kind of be looking out for that i thought i would talk about today and that's what this video is about but also um even good change can be enough towards a change and that's not easy for people so this little video is to be have you thinking about since it is we're, and we're making this video at spring, but this could easily be summer, the beginning of next fall, school, whatever. But I want you to be thinking about, like, what needs to happen to transition with your food, thinking ahead about what you need to do to be successful with your food, even as you transition through a different season in your life. And this could also be talking to new parents, like it is a life changer. And it can easily, it very, and it does, I see it all the time, it very easily can, um, if we're not far off, far enough along in our recovery, it can very easily um, take a person who's been doing really well and, and back into struggling. So I want you to be thinking about whatever transitions you have coming up, whether it's into spring break, into summer, whenever you're watching this video, be thinking about if there's something coming up that you can already feel in your systems a little revved up about or you're even thinking about and it's not it's not necessarily negative it's just change be thinking about what do i need to do to at least stay where i'm at or even keep progressing with my food right now with this change happening so you might need to look at your schedule how likely it is that whenever you have more responsibility or a change do you keep up with getting groceries or um, having some meals ahead or, or even getting more takeout to have available um, for you if that's if having food available is like um, a place where things kind of get difficult for you, or maybe it's so many of you, I know, and me too, get really busy and don't think like about getting your needs met and everybody else gets met. And so it's gonna be really important if you're taking care of other people's needs, um, either out of this is how you function to feel safe or it's legit like you need to like, you know, make sure you pack extra food for your kids because you're going to be gone more or whatever the, the issue is that you do that for yourself as well. And you include yourself in the mix of all the care that needs to happen. Let's see here. Um, also, I mean, you think about people who, um, even if you get a new job, if you know, if you don't know what to expect, let's say in the first week of your new job, super important to like, I need to bring extra food with me because I don't know if I go out to eat. What's the thing here? Do we take even though they say I get an hour for lunch, does that mean I have to eat at my desk? Or how, do, how does the culture work here and how am I gonna fit? And those are all the thoughts that are actually happening 
under the surface, but a lot of times we make it about like the food. Well, we just need to be prepared with the food we need and you can, the other stuff will, will be learned. It will be okay. But of course our, our, we could get nervous. We can get revved up about things. And because we don't know what to expect, we sometimes take it out of the food, either under or, you know, eating as like a grounder or a buffer or whatever it is. So, um, because this is Fridays and definitely going to be on here a little bit longer than usual, just to answer any questions. It could be really to this topic or something else. Um, but I know that I'm certainly feeling refreshed from a little bit of time um, to have my brain not in total action mode. Um, but I'm also super happy to be back and I always love meeting with you all doing this. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to put them in comments below. I'll be answering them as I talk a little bit. And if not, we'll just leave it at that today and be happy to receive your thoughts, suggestions about topics that you want to hear about and, and to learn more about. Um, the last thing I want to say about transitions is, of course, they're going to happen. So I don't want people to feel like um, one's not coming. It always is. Whether, I mean, we just had daylight savings time here in the northern hemisphere. I'm assuming not everybody, I don't know, everybody does that, but um, we did. And, you know, that first week is, is a little rougher trying to get going when it's dark, you know. And that can make us kind of, like, for me, it's a little procrastinating. And then like, oh, like I didn't get a good breakfast in. So you've got to make sure that like you're a little bit more aware ahead of time with those things because the first thing that usually goes for people early on in their recovery from diets and disordered eating is their own self-care. So I just want to leave it at that for now. If Again, if you're feeling like this video was informative um, or helpful, I would love it if you pass it along to your friends, your family, just to know what's possible, what's out there. And just know that transitions are inevitable for all of us, no matter what your age, the stage of your life or you're in, where you're at and you're with your family, your career, whatever's happening. Moving, let's say, oh my gosh, I mean, I forgot about, to talk about moving. Um, there's a lot of things that can be going on for people. And it's important to recognize that recovery doesn't stop. And, and disorder eating tests are certainly not going to stop when you have something going on. And in fact, they're going to try to like, sneak their way back in a little bit unless we're very aware of like I need more support now not less so thank you all so much for watching and actually, I'm actually going to put a link below to my free gifts page on my website because there's several there's a um there's a self-care one um on there there's a second free gift on there that you might be interested in that maybe not a, a lot of people get get that one and it's really important and actually applicable for this topic so I'll, put, I'll post that below and if anybody wants to grab that, they're more than welcome. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you.